the justice now. Protests rolling out around the world once again, demanding more action on climate change. In Australia, students walking out of class saying more should be done to battle the country's bushfire crisis. When our school shut down because of bushfires, I mean, I asked them, you know, how can we go to school then? This time, international rallies coming ahead of a United Nations climate summit in Madrid next week. Demonstrators urging world leaders to commit to urgent action. In Portugal, protesters taking to the streets, Swedish activist Greta Thunberg, the force behind the Fridays for Future movement, was expected to join the rally in Lisbon. But her environmentally friendly cross-Atlantic trip from New York was delayed by rough weather. In France, protesters taking a stand against the traditional Black Friday shopping frenzy, which they say feeds over consumption and pollution. The demonstrations come a day after the European Parliament declared a climate emergency in a symbolic vote. We have to follow up. And that's the crucial point. We can declare climate emergencies, but the people on the streets are not asking us for declarations. They are asking us for actions. And plenty of action here at home, too. According to Fridays for Future Canada, there were at least 120 events planned across the country. And they add... This is Canada's sixth national strike and is expected to be the second largest in terms of numbers of strikers. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.